from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Private Sidney Walker, better known as Bojack. He's learning reading, writing, and arithmetic, for he had no schooling before entering the Army. Visual education is part of the training for the former lightweight champ. The doctor won't find anything wrong here. Bojack takes time out from studies to keep him trim. Army routine apparently hasn't slowed down the Georgia Dynamo. Battling Moon, ex-pugilist, is athletic instructor. The great day arrives. Bojack is going to be graduated from Army school, and he is happy and proud. The bow autographs his gloves for his colonel, J.P. Edgerly. Congratulations to Walker. His general wishes him Godspeed and many victories. A banquet marks the graduation festivities. And Private Walker, Bojack, is kept busy satisfying the autograph seekers. <laughs> Mrs. Roosevelt represents the president at one of the many birthday parties in his honor, for President Roosevelt was busy in his war activity. The scene here is a Washington USO Center. Joe Turner, a blues singer, makes a hit. Jitterbugs Michael Ersham and Lynette Perch amuse the crowd. This is typical of many parties which highlighted the March of Dimes campaign. These young people and all the people in the nation give of their money, time, and talent to make this year's drive a notable success. Making merry in the name of a great humane cause. Meet A. E. Mizey, the son officer of the first Negro Consumers Council to be formed. Headquarters, Louisville. Fletcher Martin, back with Jack Trophy. Only Negro war correspondent attached to General MacArthur's staff. He's back from 22 months in the Pacific, but will soon rejoin MacArthur. <laughs> Professor C.A. Liggins, executive of the Louisville Boy Scouts presents a loving cup to Dr. Roscoe Wheat on his retirement from scout activities after 25 years. This is a busy place. The OPA rationing board never has a dull moment. One of thousands in the nation, they work ceaselessly. If everyone would refuse to deal with merchants who sell goods without rationing stamps, there would be no black market. That would simplify the gigantic task of rationing boards and help speed victory. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.